Hello everyone! Forgive any quality things, I'm filming this in selfie. So, I'm doing my nighttime routine, I'm kind of winding down, Mark's at work, and one of the things I do in my nighttime routine is organize my meds for the evening. So I thought I'd give you a little tour through my own little valley of the dolls. Now, like it needs to be said, you can call this a disclaimer, you shouldn't take medical advice or suggestions or infer anything from what some schmuck says on YouTube. Okay. Now having said that, I'll mention the names of the pills and maybe the doses and what my understanding is of how they work. There is plenty of room below to leave medical information if I've spoken in error accidentally. Um, I'll leave out what I'm not sure is true. I'll, I'll try to do it that way. So if it seems like I'm being vague when describing something, it's because I don't know the facts about it. So I don't want to make shit up. But it's very possible I misunderstand something that I believe to be true. Um, also, medications are something I do to help me stay well and manage my symptoms. They are not something everybody does. I wouldn't tell somebody what to do with their health care. That's between them and the people they choose to make those decisions with. So this is not advocacy for drugs. This is not um, looking down on anyone who doesn't use them. This is just how I roll. Okay? So, who's up first? Let's see. Oh, I have bipolar disorder. So if you see some of these things flying around um, within the cocktail, there's seven that I take. Um, some of those might look familiar. So first one I got is Lamictal. Lamictal is an anticonvulsant. Um, for folks with bipolar disorder, it is thought that it might have to do with electrical activity in the brain, and anticonvulsants help to quiet some of that. Uh, Lamictal is one of them. So I take uh, 300 milligrams of that a day. That's more than some people, less than others. You know, doses are different, meds are different. Meds that have helped me may have given you lockjaw. So, that's one of them. Uh, the next would be Topamax. Topamax is prescribed off-label for a lot. It's an anticonvulsant too, um, but I've known people who take it for migraines, um, folks who take it for weight loss, actually, um, to control appetite. I've known people who've lied and said they had migraines <laughs> so they could get a prescription to help with weight loss. So, um, yeah, uh, I was prescribed this after I was hospitalized when I was um, throwing up a lot, and the doctor said this would help with impulsive activities and things like that. I don't know. Um, but it's stayed in the cocktail because it's it's worked. Those um, behaviors did quiet down and became more easily, they became less pleasurable, I'll say that. So that stayed. Um, Latuda. There was a lot of views on my Latuda video, more than I thought, so we'll call this a Latuda update. I'll hashtag it or, or mention it a lot in the comments. Uh, Latuda is an antipsychotic. It's an atypical antipsychotic, so it's one of the new ones. Other antipsychotics you see, you didn't used to see them a lot, and all of a sudden now they're advertising for folks with bipolar 1 and stuff. So there's like Vyvanse, Latuda, um, some of the older ones are like Seroquel, um, what was the other one that used to be around? Uh, Geodon, that was another one that went out, and some Abilify, a lot of people were on Abilify. Even if they weren't bipolar, the doctor would prescribe it as like a, a way to juice up a normal antidepressant. So I take that. This has to be taken with food, um, 350 calories. So I've tried taking it on an empty stomach when I was first prescribed it. I threw it right back up. It, it was not, not a comfortable feeling. And it was dry heaving because I hadn't eaten anything. So eat with your eat with your pills if it says to eat with your pills. Um, Latuda does not have a generic. Everything else I have does. Um, without insurance, I was carrying two forms of insurance at the time that I was prescribed this. I was getting off disability. I was on SSD for about two years, and then my condition improved and I was able to get off of it. But at the time, I was carrying Medicare, um, and what had just kicked in was the insurance for my work. So when I went. I had said, well, don't use my Medicare, use my, my new insurance. They ran it on both. On Medicare, which only covered half of it, it was still $600. So retail, with no insurance, the Latuda is $1,200 a month. For $1,200, I could stay overnight in the hospital with 24-hour nursing, and the bill would be about $1,000. It would be about that much. It's about $40 a pill. You know, I could cop a serious 
semi-serious drug habit, or I could at least start one on street drugs for $40 a day. So it's expensive, you know, I'll, <laughs> I'll save my opinions on that for myself. Um, but as far as the other antipsychotic medications I've taken, it doesn't mess with my appetite. Um, it doesn't mess with, um, sedation and it doesn't give me too much energy, akathisia running around and all that stuff. So it was good. It was tough to transition to. It took like a month before I started to feel like my, my, myself. Um, but it's been good so far. I had a dose adjustment. Um, I will probably have another one, but it's been fine. So, uh, Prozac, antidepressant. It's popular. They were giving it out like candy in the early 90s to everybody. Um, it's a lower dose, 20 milligrams. I have to watch my use of antidepressants, especially um, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs. Um, this would be like Celexa, Lexapro. They're in the same family as this. And um, in individuals bipolar, it can rocket a person past, you know, from depression through baseline into mania, if it's not put together correctly in a cocktail. Um, I know folks who don't take SSRIs at all. They'll take like Wellbutrin or I think Prestique, some of the other medications that they have out. So, but it's been okay for me. Um, it's more of a safety thing because I'm not depressed all year long, but it kind of covers my bases. You know, the antipsychotic covers the top and keeps the mania down, kind of here. And then the antidepressant takes the bottom and brings the bottom up. And the mood stabilizers try to keep it in the center so I can stay somewhere, somewhere in here. All right. So what else do we got? Um, this was a newer one. This is gabapentin, also known as Neurotin. It's an older drug. Um, it's used, it's another anti-epileptic, um, another anti-seizure medication. It is used off-label for everything. <laughs> I know people who have fibromyalgia who take Neurotin. I know people who have migraines who take Neurotin. I know people who have seizure disorders who take it, mood disorders who take it. Um, I take a very low dose three times a day. Um, I was experiencing anxiety and I used all my personal medicine, like the self-care techniques and life skills I could do. I was deep breathing. I was grounding myself. I was doing imagery. Um, and I was still in a spot where I, I was wanting to, I've exhausted all that. Let me try a little bit of mother's little helper. So I talked to the doctor and we worked out a dose and that's been helping me actually a lot. So there's that. And who's up last? Benztropine, also known as Cogentin. Um, it's an anti-Parkinsonism <laughs> drug uh, because I developed tremors because I've been on these meds, especially the antipsychotics, uh, for about 10 years and long-term effects can start to kick in. Um, without this, I have some involuntary movement in my neck, kind of like that. Um, not really too much in my jaw. Uh, my legs, I have some involuntary movements. It's more like, imagine like having a hiccup. It's kind of like, you you know it's going to come, and you think it's not now, it's not now. And then the split second after it happens, you think, oh, I probably could have stopped that. Or, oh, I should have known it was coming. The twitches are like that. So this helps control it. And I'm, on again, a very low dose of that. So if I needed to bump it up, I could. It's one of my bigger fears that I would end up with something like Parkinson's from the treatments. It's, that's one of those poor me moments where it feels like, this isn't fair. I have to take these things just to feel normal. Nah, nah, nah. And even the stuff that's keeping me sane is killing me physically. So what am I going to do? Maybe I should just go do something holistic, like da, 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 you know, and I've tried to do that and I've gotten sicker each time. So this is not optimal. I don't care to be on this much medication, but this is about the bare minimum I can take. Um, when I've tried to cut down before, um, but newer drugs come out. So even though it would break me financially to try them, um, I'd be, you know, certainly willing. I'm not married to what I'm taking. This is not at all what I was taking when I started my recovery. This will change again too. Um, and if it can be less, all the better. So, so thank you for watching and taking a little tour through the valley. Uh, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If you feel like you can give me a thumbs up. Uh, get the alerts, too, so when you know a new video is going to be coming out. Uh, please make note of our new channel name, Smokey Steve and Mark. Mark's on board now. And um, I or we will catch up with y'all soon. Bye.